uh, first when they came they uh, they told me that we are putting you on hold so i left all the expectations that uh, mostly people when they say they are putting on hold that means mostly you are rejected 90% of the time so uh, and the results were announced and my name was not there but after you know 3 or 4 months i got a, a mail from hr that uh, they i have been selected and they want me to uh, choose a location for the office so that's no there was a notice period but i did not serve that okay like is it fine to not serve mm, yeah they just give a you know minimal penalty resume gs yes, specifically was not based on resume they uh, like, they were very clear that those who all no sql they'll only take them okay guys so today we have with us rishita chaliawala and uh, she cracked uh, two offers on campus one was deloitte and one was zs so she did her 6 uh, month internship at deloitte and uh, now she is full time in zs zs is a management consulting and technology firm that uh, works side by side with companies to solve their business challenges so yeah i'll, I'll let rishita introduce herself for uh, you all so that you all can know her better and then we'll proceed ahead so yeah rishita you can introduce yourself so hi i am uh, rishita chaliawala and i am a 2023 grad from nirma university and uh, as kanak said uh, i am currently employed with cs associates uh, as a, a business technology solution associate role yeah rishita so uh, can you just uh, let us know uh, how you got into deloitte and yeah i just a brief overview i'll link the previous deloitte video interview of rishita here but just a brief about deloitte yeah uh, so uh, for deloitte we had uh, one aptitude test and uh, the other was directly or uh, interviews and uh, interview was only for like one round interview was only there and most of the questions asked was about sql and python okay great so now we'll come on to zs so first of all uh, uh, Well, ZS, ZS was an on-campus offer. So, and was there any application criteria? Like, if you have CGP about this, you can apply, or like, was there any uh, application criteria? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it was uh, first. Uh, I, if I tell you a detailed process, now then, uh, Kanak, we had uh, uh, like three roles coming for ZS from ZS, but uh, uh, in the starting. But after some time, now they cancelled two roles, and they said that they'll they'll only come for one role. And the criteria was, uh, I guess, seven or seven point five plus CGPA. and uh, uh, like uh, they they also uh, specifically mentioned in their jds was uh, sql and uh, uh, knowledge about uh, you know uh, aptitude test or basic c programming uh, test okay. so yeah so now we'll go through timeline so when did zs come on campus uh and mm -hmm. when did the first round happen and like after how much time second round so the timeline and the whole process if you can mm -hmm. dive in yeah uh i remember uh, there was um like uh four three to four weeks gap between all the rounds yes yeah, came uh, uh in uh, i guess august and they started with their aptitude test aptitude test was all the basic mcq questions uh which consisted of maths and english and basic uh, what usually peer companies ask for then after a month they announced the results and uh, they uh, they gave the links to the uh, selected participants with uh, sql test and that test consisted of you know three sql queries uh, we had have to write three sql queries and one c programming question and uh, the final interview was up, uh, before diwali mid october i guess and uh, that interview they asked me three sql qu queries and they uh, they uh, you know tested my logic uh, from uh, that uh, uh gfg uh, co uh like that competitive queries is there na so that game query that uh, you have to build a logic for a game and uh, you know that uh, three you give three chocolates and uh, you give one wrapper and that that sort of maths question so uh, can you also tell about how long was the first round like was it one hour 
the time yeah line. yeah the timelines for uh, you know aptitude test for 1 1.5 hours same was given for uh, sql test and the interview round varies from interview to interview how much they want to take yeah so in the third round uh, it was with some of the zs employee right the manager you would be mm. face to face so uh, mm. did what did he focus on resume like were there any questions on resume or like was was it only maximum based on sql no. and no no it was not based on resume zs specifically was not based on resume they uh, like they were very clear that those who all know sql they'll only take them and they only asked uh, what they they wanted and uh, as you are from uh, ec electronics and communication background so uh, mm. we generally don't uh, give much focus on sql so like from where did you learn sql and like was it only after the inter uh, like uh, knowing that you have interview you started learning mm. or was it from before no 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 uh, i was clear i wanted to go for sql uh, kind of a role so i started my sql training right from summer internship period and uh, uh, and also i opted for that open elective of dbms in seventh semester and i got many like uh, you know things refreshed along that period so the i started preparing before uh, interviews so electives do help in some or the other way right yep yep definitely and there was no hr round or something no no there was no hr round for cs okay so these were the three rounds so yeah uh, rishita uh, was there any specific reason you did your six month internship at deloitte and then shifted to zs like uh, any reason to switch or why did you not continue in deloitte mm, see uh, the process for uh, the you know like uh, the offer process for cs or uh, specifically for me it was very twisted uh, first when they came they uh, they told me that we are putting you on hold so i left all the expectations that uh, mostly people when they say they are putting on hold that means mostly you are rejected 90% of the time so uh, and the results were announced and my name was not there but after you know 3 or 4 months i got a, a mail from hr that uh, they i have been selected and they want me to uh, choose a location for the office so that's when where i thought oh my god okay i am now selected and by then i was already interning with deloitte okay i was already interning with deloitte and these people they have not given specific date for the joining uh, also so i took the full time offer as well from deloitte because obviously i have to save side myself as well so i took that offer and uh, taking that offer in like a month they told me that i have my joining from next month that was september so i immediately like uh, i i also requested zs people if they would push up my uh, joining date but uh, that was also kind of risky so i thought that uh, let us uh resign in deloitte and join cs only from now and yeah. i yeah. specifically uh, switched because uh, i i'm not saying that deloitte uh, uh, in deloitte there is no growth or anything but i thought that uh, the role in cs was more challenging and the opportunity i don't want to miss that opportunity it won't be coming next time so i thought that it's better if i go Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, coming back to uh, how many of them uh, were initially selected for ZS, and then after how many months did you get this mm. email that you are also selected? Yeah, yeah. So, from our college only, uh, there were uh, official selection was for three or four people, I guess. And after that, many of them got call, and from Nirma, we are almost ten to twelve people here. many are from cs and ic and only i am from ec me me and shelly shelly is also there so and was there any notice period that when you resigned for deloitte like we have to stay here 3 months and then go or like was there uh, like you can join immediately no 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 there was a notice period but i did not serve that okay like is it fine to not serve mm, yeah they just 
give a you know minimal penalty and stuff uh so yeah uh, now can you just uh, let us know about what does what is your role called in that is and what does your day to day work look like okay <laughs> my day to day work look like i go to office uh, we have uh, like uh, for freshers we have compulsory work from office right now and uh, i go to office and uh, you know like uh, my work is mostly on uh, zs internal platform that is uh, javelin incentive management and there i make flows for uh, incentive compensation to uh, sales representatives that is like flows as kind of like sql only uh, the language used is sql only but it's just in a representation of flows not a query uh sounds a bit complicated but yeah and what is the role actually known as like what's the title of it the mm, uh, my title is uh, business technology solution associate only and it is like we uh, develop systems for us clients which uh, you know help them uh, bring more uh, you know focus on what their sales are doing and how much sales uh, their representatives have been done for their medical you know uh, equipments or some medicines and uh, okay uh, now can you describe about how overall that is like work life balance and like colleagues and managers and all and if you found any difference between culture of deloitte and that is yeah there is a huge difference between culture of zs and deloitte uh, in deloitte like my uh, team was mostly uh, consisting of, it was a very small team and i knew everybody from senior manager to assistant managers and everyone but in zs the team is very big i don't even know uh, like manager personally right now uh, it is a bit uh, problem from my part but uh, the if you are going in such big team it is always a good uh, habit to interact and to make uh, people feel your presence okay and like uh, okay so now any uh, final advice that during interview you face like any mistakes that you made and you don't want your juniors to repeat or like any uh, corporate experience as you have been one year in corporate so maybe any learnings from it mm, corporate uh, what you have done throughout your uh, college it does not matter in corporate now in corporate your soft skills matter a lot you have to you know uh, have a balance between work and life and that can be done only when you uh, have a, a you know a good attitude a good soft skill to say no <laughs> that is most important in corporate and uh, uh, you have to be active as well that you have to uh, also be knowledgeable so that you finish your work before the timeline and it it takes less of a time to you know uh, do all the work so that you can enjoy later <laughs> and uh, in the interview part uh, i would say uh, focus on your knowledge of, on, on your basic knowledge they always test your basic knowledge i have said, said this in deloitte interview as well that they only test your basic knowledge if your foundation is strong then uh, you'll be able to explain it uh, correctly and they'll know that yeah this is a uh, this person knows things and uh, you have a good chance then great great insights rishita so yeah uh, thank you for sharing your insights and your interview experience with your juniors i'm sure it would be helpful to them and yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you for taking your time out yeah thank you kanak